so excited to have this kind of turnout tonight and to see so many faces with us this evening to uh, to recognize the annual observance of International Overdose Awareness Day and um, someone asked me earlier today why is this day important well these days overdose is the leading cause of death for Americans ages 18 to 45 and we know that this doesn't just happen in large metropolitan areas around the country it's happening right here and it's affecting people that we know and we love and your presence here tonight not only shows that you care enough to be here but that you want to have a voice and an impact on making positive change and turning this thing around and it's going to take all of us we've lost too many people so far we got to stop this we got to bring it to an end Let's pause to reflect and remember and think about all those beautiful souls that we've lost to this. But then let's get angry. Let's be intentional and focus and move things around, okay? We can do it. I believe that we can. But we've got to work together. I just think what we are out here for is to remember those that we lost um, due to substance use. Um, disorder, overdoses, and you know, I'm one of those. I lost my brother a couple years back, um, so this is really huge. And my stepdad, who raised me since I was two, suffered with depression, addiction, mental illness, and he purposefully overdosed when we all fell asleep. I woke up to him making awful noises, woke up my mom, she called 911, performed CPR on him, but it was too late and we both saw the moment the life left his body. And at age 14, I started using meth and heroin, and I can remember being in ninth grade and going into the school bathroom just to use drugs. I even overdosed once myself, and all I can remember is how scared I was that I was going to die, and I was only 18 years old. And in December of 2019, my husband got into some trouble with the law and there was a search warrant and the cops came to my house and I had paraphernalia laying out. They called CPS and I failed drug tests and they took my son. My brother was at my house and he went to jail that day as well. And then on January 8th, 2020, I was with my mom when we got the phone call that my brother had just overdosed and died. Sorry. Um, My mom both and I lost it. Within two weeks, I had my son taken by CPS and my brother was dead. I just kept getting high. September 10th, 2020 is my clean date, the last time I ever used drugs. While in jail, I, offer, I was offered drug court and I took it. We both have been doing great in our recovery and I do a lot of virtual NA meetings due to having a baby. I talk to my sponsor a few times a week. I meet all my requirements for drug court. And last week I just asked for another phase promotion. Things have been going really good for me and I'm also getting my GED now. The overdose has really traumatized my whole life and has taken a lot of my family and friends and people I loved and cared for. Recovery is possible even if you relapse after multiple years clean, you can do it again. Thank you for listening. So I looked up a bunch of, um, definition of ho definitions of hope, and this one really resonated with me. So hope is an optimistic state of mind that is based on an expectation of positive outcomes with respect to events and circumstances in one's life or the world at large. Just look around. This is our tribe. This is our family, our support systems, our resources, and our community. This is where we can feel safe, we can feel loved, and at peace in this space. This day represents bringing people together to shine a light, literally and metaphorically, on the impact of overdoses all over the world. This includes remembering and honoring those who have passed, supporting those in recovery, and sharing all of the community resources and support that we have. Now think about what you hope to get by being here tonight at this special gathering, and then say to yourself silently what that is, and then carry that intention 
with, with you throughout tonight and moving forward. My reason for being here is knowing deep down inside there is hope and that we can move forward by coming together as a community. If you are struggling with anything, please reach out for help. Asking for help is not weak, it's powerful. Second is a quote from Thich Nhat Hanh. Hope is important because it can make the present moment feel less difficult to bear. If we believe that tomorrow will be better, we can bear a hardship today. And lastly, I'm sorry for your losses and your struggles, but I'm also grateful that you all are here. Every one of us has a story and that each one of us carries that story deep within us. And we know that there are times and places in our lives that wound us, that leave scars. Someone once said that our scars are the roadmap of our souls. Think about anger, frustration, and bargaining, depression. All these things that burden our hearts because we've lost somebody whom we love to addiction. I just encourage you to be in connection with other people who may be going through some similar stuff that you're going through. To know that you're not alone. To know that you don't have to be afraid. To know that your story means something not only to you, but to others. Henry Nouwen was a, a Trappist priest in the Roman Catholic tradition. And he talks about that where each of us are wounded healers. What we do when we offer ourselves in community and support and comfort and care for one another, we minister, we serve out of our deep well of our own places of hurt and pain to help others through theirs. We remember their stories, we share their memories, and we comfort each other in our sorrows knowing that that candle is burning fiercely against the dark and knowing that hope is always just around the corner. Thank you.